How y'all doing out there? This is Nico B, Black Effect. I want to get into this video quickly. I ain't going to um, take too much of your time. Recently with this Will Smith, you know, everybody didn't post memes about Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. I mean, this isn't nothing new. It's like all over the internet. But uh, this is it's something else that is very telling in that narrative and in that uh, that we can learn from. And that's the fact that black women, when they, and women, period, this is like, so, but I'm speaking to black women, but this is for women, period. The ha Your hair, it says in the Bible, is the crown of your head. You understand? It's a gift from God. And God, it also said in the Bible that God has struck women, you know, um, the chosen women of God, like went for being haughty and all that, struck them. When women act like that, God will strike them with uh, baldness. And that's a curse. God says that that is a curse to be struck with bald, as a woman to be struck with baldness. I'm, you know, thank the Lord, you know, men, you know, start losing, man, some men, a lot of white men lose their hair quickly. They hair will be thin as hell. Like black men don't have that problem. Thank the Lord. Some black men do. You see some, it's sad because you see some black men who have that horseshoe in the back. You know, don't nobody really, you know, want to just not be able to grow no hair, you know, even on your face. It's a natural thing, you know what I'm saying? But especially for women, when women can't grow hair and they hair get all messed up, that's why I be so pissed, you know what I'm saying? I get on people like, I be telling my auntie, man, like, don't stop perming, don't ever, don't perm my niece hair. Like, why you want to do that? Like, you know, save them, like, save them perms for occasions, please. Like, because when you mess up her hair early, that's you who's caused, caused her to uh, have that, that, um, you kind of, you've helped that curse along. You understand? You helped that, you helped that happen to her. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't do that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, never, I don't even believe in all that perm and all that, like pressure her or do something, you know, black women have a unique, um, but that brings me to another thing, another thing, black women have a unique, uh, set of grade of hair, just black people, period. A lot of black women act like it's just the worst thing to have their own hair. They and I, I mean to this day, like men have talked about it. Like yeah, look, but now I'm being serious. Like it's a side. This is a curse. If you know what I'm saying, baldness is a curse. A lot of black women can't even grow hair at this point, and that's not even due to the their genetics. It's the some of them. You know, don't get me wrong. It's some people who just have bad genetics. Black men and black women have bad um, grades of hair. You understand? I'm not saying that. And to be honest, man, like it's just another it's just another form of hair, but it doesn't grow. Like I know people like that. Their hair doesn't grow. Now I don't know what happened. Along, I think it's more so. Uh, the the stuff that they did to the hair, but it's like men. I used to, I knew men who um, and they were like boys. I mean, who hair couldn't grow. I never got that. I don't, I don't get that. You know, I think that's something that had to be do with them messing up their diet or something. Cause I don't think nobody can't grow hair. I know, man, people from all shades of life got long. You know, some you know some real just like everybody. I think can grow it. So, I mean. But I don't know what it is with dark skinned women and, and black women who they just don't like their hair. I don't know why. Like I, I think it and it's I think it's been the propaganda that's you know what I'm saying that's been been taught over her. Like cause African women don't get they out there rocking they they all natural. They rocking that the baldies, they rocking the the shortcuts. I mean, you know, and I like that. I think that's attractive. You know what I mean? Because it's just the confidence in how they do it. You understand? But now you got women over here who just do not like their hair. They do not feel beautiful if they do not have a weave on or a wig on. That's what just happened, you know, up at the office. It's like, Jada, why didn't you come up? Why didn't you come through with one of them wigs, man? Why did why? I mean, like you ain't the first one to put a wig on. I don't, I'm I'm pretty sure Lapita had a wig. I don't know what you know. what I'm saying <laughs> some weave. Who cares? Like that's what you know. It's not like that's abnormal at this day and age. 
What you the one you loud and proud, and that go to show you. And what I'm talking about is the confidence level. If Will and if Jada Pinkett was confident in in the way that she stepped out, alopecia, so what? Like I just told you, the women in Africa they have baldies. They looking good, you know. If you not like, if you don't like that Jada, that look, wear a wig. You won't be the first. You could get you could get one of them install wigs. Men do it. So my thing is what this is not a good look in shows of confidence. Because it because we as black men who deal with black women, we know. Y'all, a lot of y'all, it's it's sad, you know, but a big number of you hate your hair. A large number, large group. <laughs> And I'm and I beg to say the a lot of you, I mean it's just a lot. I'm trying to be nice. I'm being PC for the moment, but it's but a lot of black women that I've talked to, they don't wear their natural hair never. They don't like it, and when they don't, they'll be like, I don't have my hair done. I'd be like, your hair is on your head, because I, I mean these these are women who had hair. They had her like you take out the wig. They had her big poofs, you know, long ass hair. That if they pressed it, it would be long. Taking that wig out, like what the hell are you got this on for? It's the funny thing about it, man. It's peculiar to me because I mean, now again, some of them can't grow hair like their hair, and that's due to the chemicals. It's not due to the fact. Now, some of it, you know, like I said, is that you need to um, be released from that curse from God. And that's not just black women. It's some, you know, let's be real. It's some white women have the problem of thinning hair. You understand? Now, Hispanic women, hey, you know, a lot of Brazilian women, God has blessed some people like, you know, just to have good genetics. And no matter what they do, they are going to be thick. That's exceptions, you know. You know, like myself, you know, I don't really have to do much or, or manage my heart much. My heart's going to grow. You know what I mean? It's going and it's going to get thick. Some people, like I say, um, Brazilian women and men, man, you know, they have thick hair for a while. And some of them have thin in her. You know, it just depends. God will strike who he wants. But it seems in the Bible, he told you, like, you know, when women acting out hardly and God just pretty much struck a generation and um, or a group of women, you know, with um with baldness. <laughs> and that's if your woman start getting out of pocket and, and seeing living in sin, God could strike you with baldness. You listen to this video. You understand? You'll be bald. Facts. So, I mean, that is a curse. That's not for me. That's out of the book itself. You know, I'll get you that verse if you need that, but and leave that in the description. Just just comment if you want that. Or you can look it up yourself. <laughs> but yeah, um, that was a telling thing on live TV. Like those of us who have discernment and overstand these things, we ain't just worried about Will Smith smacking Chris Rock, which, you know, I've already done a video on that. No, what we've learned is, like I said, a lot of black women do not like their hair. I mean, and a lot of, you know, and when women, if you're going to go out with the baldy, you know, and it also showed that Jada Pinkett, her confidence levels is low, you know, and that's, but it's not just her. I've I've seen black I've been with black women like this. Uh, and society has a hand in doing it. Like, come on, man. Like this this racist society that's done this. You know, it hadn't been I heard black women say it's black, you know, don't even mention black men. Black men don't care what, you know, type of hair you got. And if you want us, you know, and if if you was his woman or something, you my woman, you can switch it up in the bedroom. Put a, you know, you put your wigs on in the bedroom. How about that? Okay, <laughs> if you want to be Carmen San Diego and 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 switching up your 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 look and you totally want black women running out here with blonde weaves and all the way back her her line all the way back, don't do that. Don't mess up your real hair. Why would your man want you to mess up your real hair? Cause it's funny when you see a black woman go swirling and you know going and, and sleeping with every other race of men. When she do that, 
you know, when she, especially when she get with a white man, what she do? She take all that shit off. I don't get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he told, oh, he made me feel confident with it. Well, it's the same motherfucker who, you know, well, it's the same uh, group of people who made you feel bad about it. And you and other women. So, y'all, y'all sit with that. It's some mental illness. It's a mental, spiritual illness. God did it. That's what, that's how you know. It does, the, the real of us know. You know what I mean? And like I said, Jada Pinkett out here embarrassing sleep, um, causing infidelity and then committing adultery within her marriage. I don't care if Will Smith is too. You don't have to tit for tat everything. And, when, and people got to understand that in this earth. But yeah, out here committing adultery, God said, so let it be. So be it. Baldness. You know? He just said, so Jada, yeah. Had a, you know? That's I'm sorry. Now that's not no insult. That's the truth. I don't know Will Smith and Jada Pinkett or, or Christian, um, you know, in the truth, um, uh, and, and have Jesus Christ a relationship with the real Jesus Christ. I hope so. But that's it. That's what happened. And you see, like I say, you jumped out there in that. And and you jumped, I mean, you jumped out there like that. Don't blame nobody. I mean, and it's not a problem, you know, but you kind of have tougher skin than that. One insult, then person just go to, you acting like she had, like she acting like she had cancer. People acting like she have, uh, uh, nigga was talking about his autistic, his autistic baby or something. I mean, come on. I, and I don't even think people would do that, but okay. So <laughs> you, this she gravitated her total disgust and and uh, insecurity. She gravitated her full insecurity to Will Smith. That's why he ain't rocking around her insecure. She ain't hitting. She insecure and then sleeping with other people. That's what you do. And and Will Smith love her to death. I always have, even when she was you know be was swooning for Tupac. He still you know Will Smith love her to death. And look. I'm not trying to knock that or insult that. That's their business. That's his business. That's fine. What up? You know, you you should love your wife and you should love your husband. You shouldn't be embarrassing him. You should be trying to emasculate him. Should be putting his business out in public. You know what I mean? That was that what it is. But I'll get on that later, man. Um. So, like I said, <laughs> black women love your love your hair. Love just women. Period. Be confident in in how you rocking. You know, don't be so vain all the time because it ain't about because what beauty, you know, it come, it go. Beauty is, is skin deep to me. Beauty re is subjective. It resonates from the inside out. You know, women don't understand, like I say, man, and, and this people in this society, this this plastic society, man, running around her eyes. So people, woman spending two million on plastic surgery. These women running around her spending all this on these Brazilian butt lifts and wigs and, and spending all this on these weeds, man. Hundreds of dollars on hair and foolishness, man. You know, makeups and just totally transforming their whole face and playing, um, you know, um, playing Mr. Potato, Miss Potato Head on, on Facebook and, and on, on, and with this, like I said, makeup, it's ridiculous. This is a vain society. You should be confident. These African women, they don't have that problem. You understand? They don't have that vain society, man. Muslim women don't even rock like that. They out there in them burkas and, you know, they, they totally covered up, but they still rock and hitting off. They married women, rich, got major money. Men love them to death. They some sweet women. You know, I know, you know, I've talked to some women, you know, um, that come from them countries and things like that. Eritrean women and things. Man, these are sweet women. These are nice women. You know, not saying that there's not nice women here, but it's a lot of vain and haughty women over her. Going by all these plastic surgery, titties, all every, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know? And so you get women, you know, who wants like something like that with Jada or something. Or even, like I said, a woman who just have um, a certain grade of hair, she feel, she because society tell her that it ain't beautiful or something like that, she ain't feeling confident in herself. You have little girls grow up, don't want to, you know, not uh, confident in their natural hair. They get that from y'all. 
you see Willow don't give a damn. Willow looking good. Willow don't care about, you know, um, having a baldy, a low cut. She look good with it. It's natural. That's a natural. Her she like, man, screw it. I'm going to go to my natural hair. And I bet, you know, everything, you know, a lot of women could do that. And just, you know, if you don't have to necessarily rock a baldy, go get you a fade. You know, some women be looking real good with a fade. Now, not all women can do that. If that's the case now, that's where you can get a pass. They have, you know, again, you can get her installed. You can get a, you don't have to go that far. Just, you can put wigs on, weaves. And I know some women may not want to wear wigs and stuff. Again, be confident in whatever you want to do. So with that being said, it's your man, Nico B. I'm gone.